Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. We've got the Dow off 81, the S&P's down 13, and NASDAQ 100 is off 104. The Russell's up 7. Semis are up 2 points out there. New York Stock Exchange is up uh, 15 points. That's about one-tenth percent to the upside. Gold's off 5 bucks. Silver's up 2 pennies. Lights Recruit is up 256. Natural Gas up 16 pennies in a 30-year Treasury. Trade out 135.07. That's off 26 ticks. Let's go spend a little bit of time. Take a look at our cash indice charts out here. We begin with taking a look at the daily time frame in the upper left-hand corner. Momentarily, you will see the Dow Jones Industrials. Now, what you don't see is the A to B equals CD pattern that was completed out here. Price above its oscillator and change line. Odds favor that price is going to go target its recent highs in the 33,200-ish area. Same pattern here for the S&P 500. Price should make its way back to its prior swing area in about the 4170-ish range. Inside the NDX 100, its price target is really the highs from June the 2nd. That's at least the initial price target area. And that's in the 12800, 12900 range. The Russell 2000 out here, this has a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom. This is suggesting that price wants to make its way up to the 1916 level. That's a TD nine count breakdown area. In the case of the semis, they have a TD nine count bottom, price above the oscillator and change line. That suggests a move over time to 3082. That is its TD nine count breakdown area. In the case of the uh, transports, they formed a TD nine count bottom, price should target 14478. Rhodes momentum indicator bottom in the NASDAQ composite. That says that price should go target the 12300 area. And here's the New York Stock Exchange. She wants to make a move after forming a TD9 count bottom up to the 16019 area out there. Folks, Friday was an extraordinary day. Why was it an extraordinary day? Well, at least an extraordinary day because I didn't think that it would take place. And the it was that we got bullish reversal candles. That confirms buy the D point patterns for the weekly time frame, Gartley buy patterns. It also confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom for the Trent, for the Dow Jones, for the S and P, for the Nasdaq 100, for the Nasdaq Composite out there. All those suggest higher price. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. That's David White. Tom O'Brien will take us on home, and I will be back tomorrow at one o'clock. Have a magnificent Monday, folks, and I'll see you on terrific Tuesday.